And of course, a welcome to those of you who are waking up to 49er basketball in the Pacific time zone. Here's Peter Papa George to the right elbow. We'll bounce it off the deck outside to Mike Caffey at the right wing. And now they're going to post up Dan Jennings. Got Ravenel defending him. Tried the spin move. Kick out. Here's Caffey for three. No good short. And the rebound for Ohio State. So an early miss from downtown. Long Beach State takes a ton of threes. About 23 of them per game. Here's Lenzel Smith around the ring. Moves to the free throw line. Takes a runner with the left hand and comes up empty. Rebound Peter Papa George. And the 49ers will move it up right to left. Caffey putting on a dribbling exhibition. Going to post up Dan Jennings again. Mid right block. Turns to face. Now spins baseline. Left handed shot is off the front side of the iron. And the rebound on the weak side of the court for Lenzel Smith. Smith will look to push. The south ball will find Sam Thompson right back to Smith. And the return pass to Thompson in front of the 49er bench as Ohio State will reset their offense. The Buckeyes, a team that scores 76 points per game on average this year, and they give up just 57. The defense is very solid. Here's Thompson with a deep two in between the circle. No good, but he got fouled. The closeout from Gully got there late. Never want to foul a jump shooter as Thompson did miss. But the hack afterwards, and he'll head to the free throw line to shoot a pair and give Ohio State a chance at the first points of our game. Ohio State predicted to finish third in the Big Ten this year. A quality ball club top to bottom under Thad Mata as the first free throw from Thompson is good. Makes it 1-0, 18.47 to go in our opening half. A team that must be awfully easy to get good players to come play for. Not only rich tradition, but playing in a facility like this, the Schottenstein Center, as Thompson makes good on both free throws, and it's a 2-0 lead. Coming off a Final Four appearance, they've been Big Ten Tournament champions three times under Thad Mata in 2011, 2010, and 2007. Here's James Ennis between the rings for Long Beach State. Finds Caffey on a handoff. Bounce pass right back to Ennis. 18-footer is good from the right wing. Give the assist to Mike Caffey. And for Caffey, that's number 39 on the year to lead the squad. Only two other players in double figures in assists on the team this year. Papa George with 17 and Ennis with 13. As Ohio State runs the weave on the perimeter. Now they're going to post up. It's Deshaun Thomas with a turnaround jumper with the left hand. Good. He sunk it over the top of the much shorter Peter Papa George. And you cannot lose Deshaun Thomas defensively and certainly can't put a guy like Papa George on him. 17.56 with the clock running. It's 4-2 Ohio State. Here's James Ennis rolling to the far hash. Puts it on the deck into the paint. Tried to get up in the air to pass. Was able to find Gully. However, he was caught. Tried to slip it back outside to Ennis. And it's taken away by Aaron Kraft, who's then fouled by James. Sloppy offensive possession for the 49ers. And in return, James Ennis picks up his first foul. And team foul number two on the 49ers with just about two minutes and 15 seconds played. Aaron Kraft, one of those heady ball handlers. He has the rock in his hands now. Now over to Lenzel Smith outside. Here's Thomas for three. No good, and he was open, but a long offensive rebound right into the hands of Smith again, and they can reset the offense. Another three from Thomas. Again, no good. And away from the ball, a foul on Evan Ravenel, who knocked over Dan Jennings. So that's a good start for Long Beach State defensively, and pretty fortunate they got a couple of misses from a guy who rarely misses from beyond the arc. 44% this year for Deshaun Thomas, but he came up 0 for 2 on that possession, and still a two-point Buckeye lead. Thomas at 44% from downtown and 49% from the field this year as the officials will whistle down play. Looks like the ball and the court both have some moisture. And the ball boy going to go over and dry it up. Long Beach State 3-5 and five coming into this afternoon's game. 2-3 and three away from home. The road losses, however, at some pretty tough places to play. Syracuse and Arizona, to name a couple. As Mike Caffey will throw a chest pass right side to Chris Gully. 
Gully holds the ball over his head. We'll bounce it up top to the big man, Dan Jennings. Now Jennings will set a screen for Caffey. Doesn't need it as he finds Ennis. Ennis still beyond the arc in front of the Ohio State bench. Into the post it goes to Jennings again. Wheels baseline. Layup attempt. Hits the bottom side of the rim. He gets it back. Lays it up and in. Nice aggressive take for Dan Jennings. Coming off his best game. Not only as a 49er, but that includes his time. The two years with West Virginia. And we are knotted at four apiece with 16-44 to go as they slip the ball into the post does Ohio State and a foul given on Lenzel Smith. Mike Caffey came over trying to double team in the post as Ohio State ran the slip screen. That's team foul number three, a non-shooting foul on Mike Caffey and Ohio State will inbound baseline right. Aaron Kraft, the Ohio native son, turns it over on the inbound. Nice steal by James Ennis. Finds the point guard Caffey. He'll bring it up. Crossover dribble down the lane. Shot blocked away and out of bounds. Nice block by Sam Thompson, who's very long at six foot seven inches tall. He had the 5'11", maybe six foot Mike Caffey trying to take it by him. And even though Caffey reached the left hand out, trying to scoop the ball up, Thompson able to make up all the needed ground with those long arms. Still 49er basketball with 28 to shoot as Gully looks to inbound. And before he can throw in a foul on Ohio State. It'll be a hold on Thompson away from the ball. His first and team foul number two on the Buckeyes. 4-4, 16-33 on the first half game clock. Rob Render at Value City Arena in Columbus, Ohio. There's the inbound of Papa George in the corner. Friends and family, about 20 of them in the house again tonight. As Mike Caffey is 35 feet from the hoop, he's getting double teamed at the sideline and travels with the basketball. He went around a screen from Dan Jennings, who tried to leave and get open, but Caffey couldn't see over the top of Aaron Kraft. And there's Kraft again, always in the right place. Great defender, and near the tops in the country in assist-to-turnover ratio. He never turns the ball over. 3.12 is the number there, assist-to-turnovers. Here's Lenzel Smith throwing outside Thompson in front of us for three. No, sir. Rebound Dan Jennings. And now the 49ers can get out and run. It's Caffey across the timeline. Ohio State gets back on defense to the head of the circle. Crossover dribble. Now back it out near midcourt. Still has Kraft really in front of him trying to hound him and causes a five-second violation on Caffey. That gets a rise out of the 15 to 20,000 in the house here at Value City Arena. Another turnover on the 49ers, and we reach the under 16 minute media timeout. A very tightly contested first four minutes and eight seconds. We're tied at four. You're listening to Long Beach State 49er basketball. We're back after this.